that everybody is is you know has the common goal in mind, and uh, we're all moving in the same direction right now. And there's really no guys. We talk about hostages and guys that are here, but they don't really want to be here. I feel like we don't really have any of those guys. You know, we have guys that understand their role and understand why they're here, and that's key. You know, understanding why you're here, why you're doing stuff. And why you're playing, you know, you have to have a greater purpose of why you're playing, or else you're you're, you're going to lack motivation. And you have to be motivated internally. You can't just rely on other people for motivation all the time. And I think that we have a lot of those guys that, you know, maybe motivated by a guy they're competing against. But at the end of the day, we're all motivated for the common goal, and uh, you know, that's to win as many games as we can and to and to compete for championships and to ultimately win championships. So that's what we're focused on. And I think that we have a lot of guys that that see the same way. It's nice to be able to be balanced like we are. I don't know what the official percentage is or anything like that, but um, it's nice to be able to do both. <clears throat> and then both of them work off each other, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you've heard it a lot, but when people, you know, we're running the ball well, you, know, you got to do something. You might have to add somebody to the box or something like that, and then that frees up our receivers outside and vice versa, you know. So, um, you know, I think it's working nice right now. we got to keep rolling with that and uh, keeping guys on their toes. No, I'm not really concerned about that. You know, I, I don't really think about that. Uh, I'm just interested in going out there and producing and uh, putting us in our best position to win, really. Uh, you know, the only statistic I really care too much about at the end of the day is, you know, how many wins we got. And, uh, you know, if we can keep building on those, you know, I'm, I'm just fine with whatever type of publicity happens. But, um, you know, I'm happy for, for all our guys that are, that are doing well. And, uh, you know, like I said before, it all builds off of each other. You know, uh, no one guy could be doing it by himself. So, um, yeah, I'm really concerned with, with the wins and the losses, so uh, we're going to do everything we can each week to, to end up walking out of the game with a win. Uh, it's just, you know, the main things, like protecting the ball and, uh, you know, going through your progressions and then working off the defense. You know, it's nothing new. Uh, there's nothing that I've looked at this season and said, okay, well, I really need to get better at this. You know, it's a constant thing of getting better at, at those key things. You know, as a quarterback, there are a certain uh, set of things where you have to be good at those things. And so it's really just working at those. and and working every week to keep improving in those areas. You know, it's a big difference to be able to, you know, talk about things and, and have confidence in each other, you know, um, have confidence in every aspect of our offense right now. And, and like I said, we just got to keep building on that. And we got a good team coming this week, or we're going there. But, um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to, to, to play again and to try to put, um, you know, our best effort out there. Yeah, it was tough. You know, my freshman year, I didn't, I wasn't involved much with the offense because I was on the scout team, you know. But it was tough to watch from, a, you know, a slight distance. And it was frustrating because, you know, I was with our defense a lot. So I saw how hard they worked. And it's not that our offense wasn't working hard. But it's just I knew I, I had felt that before where, you know, you, you're really playing well as a defense and then your offense isn't doing anything, you know. And that was my freshman year. I felt like I felt like we had a pretty good defense that year. And... You know, for whatever reason, there's a lot of reasons that go into it, like I said, but, um, you know, that's what happened that year. And then last year, obviously, things weren't going great, um, really, for anybody. You know, we just didn't play well last year. And, uh, you know, this year we're focused on playing complimentary football. Coach Tucker talks about it a lot. And I think that's something that we've done and something that we're going to have to continue to do. So, um, you know, there's a different mindset and a different mentality right now. Yeah, it's huge. Coach Tucker talks about the toughness of your team is determined by how hard your receivers block and how well your, your corners tackle. So, you know, out on the perimeter, um, our receivers take pride in their blocking and it's something that they see as very important. And it is very important because if you can block on the edge and you can get guys out there, especially with the running back that we have and the running backs that we have, you know, when you get out on the perimeter and you can have receivers that can block, all of a sudden a 10-yard play turns into a 50-yard play. So um, it's been awesome seeing the self selflessness from our receivers and, um, you know, their effort towards blocking and the offensive line sees that. And I heard him just yesterday talking about how, you know, hey, good job, you know, keep it up. As a, when you're an offensive lineman and you see receivers who the guys are, you know, getting all the statistics and all that business, when you see them sticking their nose in there and blocking and coming into the box and, and blocking safeties, that's huge. And to have our two, uh, you know, stud receivers being our best blockers is also pretty, pretty awesome to see. And, you know, that's something that I've been around for a long time. And in high school, my our receiver coaches in high school, you know, emphasize that a ton too. At, you know, if you're not going, if you're not willing to block, you're not going to get the ball. So that's definitely something that we focus on this year, and I think they're doing a really good job of. You can see it on film. Uh, Ken's 94-yard run. We had two receivers blocking downfield, and Jaden came from the opposite numbers, tracked his guy all the way down, and then was blocking him right as 
Ken walk, ran right past him. So, you know, without that block, who knows? You know, Ken maybe would have made a miss. I wouldn't doubt that. But, um, you know, getting that block ends up, you know, going for the longest, you know, play in school history or something like that. So, uh, it all matters. It all matters on the field every play. So everyone has a, has a, has a job, and, and they, they're doing their job right now. I think it's been pretty solid. Um, you know, I look at each game as its own, and uh, you're able to kind of zone in on what each play. And you obviously evaluate yourself on each play, and there's some plays I wish I had back. And, you know, but I think overall it's, it's going pretty well. And I'll always, you know, you'll never be good enough. You'll always be striving for perfect striving per, for perfection and then you settle for excellence and I'm not saying that you know we've gotten there yet and we'll, we'll never have arrived you're always trying to get better but um, you know I'd say it's been it's going pretty well and and I'm confident that we're going to keep getting better through, as the season goes on he did a great job getting open on a lot of those uh, you know we had uh, a game plan to attack a couple of corners and um, you know he did a great job of getting around guys and, and getting open so it's a great job by him and a great job up front by our offensive line. It, it all starts up front. And if you don't have guys that are willing to, you know, do their job, which they've done uh, all year, you know, it's not going to work. So it starts up with them and they're doing a great job. And then, uh, you know, it's just up to me at the end of the day of putting the ball where it needs to be. And if I can do that, then I allow our playmakers to go make plays. And, and that's, you know, that's key. And as you can see, when we get the ball in their hands, good things are going to happen. So just got to keep doing that. Um, you know, they shut us down last year. And, uh, you know, we're putting the work in this week to try to figure them out. And, uh, you know, they do a lot of different things. And they're, they're good at disguising things for the most part. And they just got good players. You know, they're, they're a team that plays really hard. Uh, they're physical. And they're going to be willing to, uh, to do whatever it takes. So we know that. And we're going to, um, you know, do what we can this week to get ready for them and study as much tape as we can. And, uh, you know, we'll be ready to go on Saturday to, uh, to do whatever it takes. Yeah, I think that's 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 matters a little bit, but you know, I'm not taking stuff from last year too much to this year. We have a completely different offense, completely different team. So, and so do they. You know, they have a lot of players that are back from last year, but um, you know, I don't vividly remember a lot of stuff that happened in that game. I don't think about that a lot. So, I'm focused on this year and what they're doing this year, um, and the players they they got this year as well as the players we have this year. So that's what I'm focused on. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, like I said, it's a completely different scenario last year with everything, and we had different, different scheme, different guys. And uh, you know, I don't really, I can't really take myself back and, and know. You know, I think that's a play that I could have made last year. Yeah, but um, you know, were we in that scenario? I don't know. But um, that's something that we've worked on this off season. Something we work on during the season. And uh, you know, that was kind of some of our drill work that shows up in the game, and we talked about that yesterday. And uh, you know. It was a good job by everybody to uh, they did, everybody did their job and it ended in a touchdown, so it was good. I think that everybody is is you know has the common goal in mind, and uh, we're all moving in the same direction right now. And there's really no guys. We talk about hostages and guys that are here, but they don't really want to be here. I feel like we don't really have any of those guys. You know, we have guys that understand their role and understand why they're here, and that's key. You know, understanding why you're here, why you're doing stuff. And why you're playing, you know, you have to have a greater purpose of why you're playing, or else you're, you're, you're going to lack motivation. And you have to be motivated internally. You can't just rely on other people for motivation all the time. And I think that we have a lot of those guys that, you know, maybe motivated by a guy they're competing against. But at the end of the day, we're all motivated for the common goal, and uh, you know, that's to win as many games as we can and to and to compete for championships and to ultimately win championships. So that's what we're focused on. And I think that we have a lot of guys that that see the same way.